Hi, Amelia. I'm just taping a makeup lesson for you because I remembered that you, you're out of town. Um, I don't remember your exact assignment, That's, um, but I know we started new books, so I'm assuming we have Captain Hook's Rackham Party to get you started. So I'm going to perform it for you at the minimum tempo, which is 126. Um, I wonder if they might, yeah, it looks like they're starting to give tempo markings at the beginning of pieces, which we haven't really done too much of, okay? So it's going to be about here, okay? Give or take a little bit. Um, and it could go up to 144, so even faster. And then um, something to note is that at the end it says to repeat with your right hand one octave higher, okay? So this is what this one should sound like. One thing, um, they give you your fingering and I think you could totally just use the one they're using, right? They have fifth finger on that low C. You certainly can and just have a nice bounce in your wrist. Make sure it's not tense, okay? And that's true for any note. Just make sure you've got a nice loose wrist if you're using one finger. Um, but you might have noticed that I was alternating fingerings. This is a technique that pianists use when you have repeated notes. so. You don't have to do this at all, but I'm just giving you a little insider tip. Um, when you have repeated notes, uh, to avoid fatigue in your wrist and any kind of um, physical issues, it's good to alternate fingers. So um, instead of using five, this is just an option, you don't have to do it, but instead of using five here, you can go three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, I guess, ending there. Mm, boom, boom. See how I'm, I guess I wasn't quite paying attention to the pattern when I did it, but if I started measure four, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, three, four, three, two, one, three. So anytime you have repeated notes, you can go three, two, one, three, two, one. Um, so that's just a little tip. Um, let's see what we had. I'm assuming we had performance. And if we didn't, I'm going to perform it for you. I don't think you have your technique books. I think we ran out. Um, so the time machine is stop at the 18th century. Dynamic check. Remember the P is piano, F for forte science, allegro moderato, moderately fast. So I'm going to slow that down a little bit because we were here for that last piece. And now we're in three, four also. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to sight read this. See how I do. The other thing to keep in mind, you start on uh, beat three. So in your performance, you want it to sound like that. You don't want it to sound like you're starting on beat one. So you really want to count yourself off. One, two, three, and one. Okay, I don't need the pedal, I just had my foot on the pedal. Okay, here we go. One, two.
so they have uh, little indications in the bass clef um, on beats on beat three and measures two, four, and six. And it says move. So just keep in mind, you know, you have to move your left hand down. Okay. Then you gotta move it back up. Move it back down. Okay. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to the dynamic changes. Uh, measures 15 and 16, you have an accent with a staccato. So really bring those out. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember if I um, assigned anything more. I mean, you had this review, right, on pages four and five. I don't want to give you those answers. I want you to tell me the answers. I might have assigned almost like a dream. I'm going back to your lesson book now. So I just did the time machine in your uh, performance. Now I'm going back to your lesson, page eight. We're reviewing what a fermata is. So a fermata means that you can hold it however long you want. Basically, I mean, it still should be tasteful, right? Um, I'll go ahead and play this one for you. I love how at the beginning they write in your subdivision. They write in the... Um, one and two and three and four and so be thinking about that subdivision as you perform this um anything else there are some register changes so measure eight you switch from the bass clef to the treble clef so keep that in mind there are some dynamics there's crescendo and retardando also in measure seven um, I'm going to play this for you, and I'd also like you to answer the question for yourself. Does this piece begin in a major or a minor? Okay? So here we go. Andante. Andante means walking speed. So somewhere here. Here we go. And we're in 4-4 four, four now. Three, two, go. <gasps> Nice. Yeah, I think I read a couple notes wrong, but that's um, the general idea. This one's called Almost Like a Dream, and it should feel dreamlike. Yeah. So I really want you to be artistic with it. I'm going to run through it one more time because I want to get those notes right, and I want you to hear the right version. Um, but again, asking, does it begin in A major or A minor? It ends on a really funky chord at the end. I love that sound. Um, here it is, Almost Like a Dream. All right. Um, one thing that I'm thinking about, two things. Um, notice, you probably noticed me doing it. You can hold the damper pedal down. It says so at the top, but you can hold the damper pedal down to give it a more ethereal, dreamlike feeling. Um, and then also something I'll be looking for as you perform it for me when I see you next. Or, I mean, if this wasn't your assignment, don't worry. But when you perform it, when you get to the point that you're performing this for me, um, 
really utilizing those fermatas to help tell your story. So it's not, we're not going to just count to one, two, three, and maybe until five and then let go, right? We're not really counting, we're feeling it. And our release is also part of the story, okay? So your audience, it, you're carrying them along with you the entire time you're playing. Um, and you're, you know, from the very beginning of the piece, you're putting them in the dream. I'm choosing actually to go a little slower. I'd like to do a little retardando just because I think it sounds nice. Um, you can do that if you want, or you can stay metric. Um, but definitely do the retardando at the end. So, um, I'll be looking for a very dreamy performance of this when it comes to that point. And, um, that's all I have time to do right now. Um, and I hope this was helpful. I'll see you soon. Bye.